Hello there everybody, welcome back and we're here to be talking about Turning Red. Now Turning Red is the newest film from Pixar and it's about this girl Marilyn Lee who is um, in middle school and her, like there's this thing that happens to her where um, she wakes up one morning and is like a giant red panda and <laughs> what happens is, is whenever she shows an emotion that's really, you know, happy, angry, you know any type of emotion like really drastic emotion she'll transform into it and she has to try to adjust to that and try to you know like just it's basically like a coming of age story in a way now i did my best to explain because i didn't really want it like when i looked up the description and watch i've already i've obviously like, seen the movie but the marketing's kind of vague on the main you know like core to the movie so i'm trying to be as vague as possible with how I describe the synopsis, but it's basically a coming of age story about this girl who obviously is going through middle school and she has to try to hide her, you know, transformation to a panda. Like she's told to, you know, hide it and all sorts of stuff. And she learns stuff about her family's history on how this came to be. And it, it turns into a really kind of beautiful movie about a mom and a daughter and their relationship and it just it just was such a good watch for me now pixar is known for doing these stories that can be really personal and really um meaningful and really insightful not just for kids but adults can get something out of it that's one of the main charms of pixar like a lot of their movies pretty much almost all their movies in some way tell a really great story that can be relatable to both young and old now, my main reason why I really wanted to support this film and like this film is because it's the third film that was unfortunately released on Disney Plus only instead of in theaters, that being After Soul and Luca. They keep putting Pixar movies only on their streaming service at no extra cost, which for a lot of casual people, that sounds great. You don't have to pay money and you don't even have to leave your house. All you have to do is have the streaming service. But for people that love Pixar, and people that work for Pixar, it's really demoralizing to have your work of art or your, your product that you put years, blood, sweat, and tears into just degraded to a, something on a streaming service. When your other type of films, like let's say the Marvel films, the live action Disney films like Jungle Cruise or Cruella or even stuff like the um encanto and raya raya was on disney plus as well but they also got a theatrical release as well so it's really unfair that you're doing this to just pixar pixar doesn't even get a chance to go in theaters and these movies were made for the big screen and the fact that they aren't even given a chance is really just kind of messed up i think it's really scummy about how disney's tree and pixar who is literally their one of if not their best company that they have under their belt out of at all their big companies because they are the most talented creative people and for them to be sidelined to just a streaming service is kind of disrespectful in my opinion and i know a lot of people that from what i've read articles on of people that work at pixar they just find it heartbreaking that their movie was just put to streaming and they're sick of movie after movie after movie being just only streaming and it's outrageous because this is another film that is so original in terms of Pixar because I'm watching it and not only like I'm not gonna lie there's some parts in the movie that I just I don't relate to right but like for example like it obviously follows a middle school girl which I'm not and, <laughs> and you know her interest in like boy bands and stuff like that not interesting to me but I really was invested with the relationship between the mom and daughter and just the family history and culture and it just was so refreshing to see a unique you know take because while i like what pixar has been doing recently with their films like you follow like with soul that's a unique interesting take and that really like got me thinking about my own life because of, of everything that happens in that movie and you have coco which is you know about that culture and you see all these different opinions and different takes on different lifestyles and this movie is like another step in that direction which makes it really refreshing to watch and plus the animation style which i believe the director this is her first film because she directed the oscar winning short bow i believe that was the name of it which i remember was 
wild because it was like it was so emotional it was like this whole allegory about you know her she was making this this type of food and it was like a, a little it was like a living thing and eventually you know it grew up and wanted to leave and stuff which was an allegory for her kid growing up and leaving you know the house to go on with you know their own life and just like i really love the type of stories that this director's wanting to tell and this movie kind of really shows into the family dynamics and trying to become your own person and go out of your shell because the main character is always wanting to be for her mom's approval always doing what her mom wants and never really puts herself in front and she likes stuff that her mom probably wouldn't want her to like like the type of music or type of friend she has and all sorts of stuff like that and the red panda obviously i believe is like an allegory for you know her being expressive really like a pretty you know cool animation tool to express how she's becoming her own person and it was just a really entertaining movie i really thought it was well animated like for example a lot of facial expressions which i've been seeing a lot <laughs> on my twitter feed and all that the the animators had a ball with this movie because there were so many different <laughs> It was it was just such a fun time. I had to rewind a couple scenes because I was just enjoying how much fun that they had anime in this because a lot of this stuff in the movie is so good. And plus, on top of that, with the great animation, you have a pretty solid music score with some music choices, which are eh, they're catchy, but they're bad catchy, if you get what I'm saying. Like, you don't like them, but they're stuck in your head. And a story that's really good to its core about family values and... I just thought this was a fantastic movie. I really thought it was really good. I appreciate seeing a new take on something and just origin. It just felt original in a sense, if you get what I'm saying. But with all that said, those were all my thoughts on Turning Red. Again, this movie was really great. There are, again, some stuff I couldn't really click with. Some stuff were kind of cringe. But the stuff that hit really hit well and it was really solid and I just had a blast with this movie. I'm glad I saw it. I recommend a lot of you guys definitely check out the movie. It it deserves it. It really does because these people work a lot on these movies and for them to be just sidelined to streaming service is just not fair. Again, thank you all so much for watching this video. It means a lot to me. If you want to hit the subscribe button and the bell as well to get notified on when I upload, that would mean a lot to me. And thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all later. Bye!